Hello everybody and welcome to my new YouTube channel. Yes! ask you a question. What kind of dreams did you have growing up as a kid? Um, in the Dominican Republic, my dreams were smaller, I must say. Just because the culture and the opportunities there are not as big as the ones here. So when I came here, my world just completely changed. I just saw all these things that I could be and do. And, um, I always loved art. From, the, from back when I was really little, um, I've learned how it is different from when I from when I was a young kid. I've learned that I can tell a story, I can share my feelings, I can express myself. So it has grown, but that's something that has always been con constant throughout my life. I always wanted to be an artist in one way or another. Always. And what what was so special about art to you at that point in your life? How old, mm -hmm. how old did you say you were? I remember I started drawing and I, I started very young. I must have been like five or six. Wow. I remember being like kindergarten first grade and I was just always drawn to just capturing what I saw at that time and I realized that it was something that I was good at and I felt comfortable with it and I guess it was the first um, thing in my life where I felt in control you know oh I can do this and it, it motivated me as a kid yeah that's terrific um, because when I see your artwork your artwork is very sensual you're a Taurus, right? Yes, I am. I'm a Taurus, too. Taurus, Taurus is a very sensual people anyway. Yes. You know, we don't necessarily, it's not overly dramatic yes. about yes. it. It's a yes. very, in a very subtle way. Yes. But your work is very sensual. What brings out the sensuality in your work, in your artwork? What brings it out? Hmm. I must say, I, I, I said I started as a, as a, as a, as a tech, I started drawing, and then from there I went to painting, and now my new venture over the last few years has been dance. And I think dance has helped me get in touch with that. Part of myself, because dance is very sensual and it's all about the body and um, it has really affected my work. And it makes me feel more connected to it, to um, apply what I learned in dance in my painting, yes. So I think good. that, I, I think dance. Oh, okay. Is that a dream of yours to do a 540? Okay, wh what is it though? Why, what's, it, what's your big dream? Famous. Um, you want to be famous? A famous a what? A dancer? Oh my God. <laughs> Five months after resolving to lose weight, 40-year-old Laura Lee and 36-year-old Carla Flagg are sticking to their resolutions. Fitness motivator Joey Dowdy says changing it up keeps them coming back. I always bring a variety of exercises and different dance routines, different cardiovascular exercises, different stretches. But working out regularly and eating right hasn't been easy. I'm not used to five small meals a day. I was used to two big meals a day. Despite the hurdles, both say focusing on the long-term goal kept them in step. I'm really working on changing my lifestyle. Both ladies say family support and being accountable to someone like Joey kept them going. This was Carla back in January. She weighed 287 pounds, and less than five months later, she's dropped 30 pounds. To see the scale moving down and down and down, is, it's wonderful. It, it's enlightening. It never makes me want to go back to where I was before. In January, Laura weighed 138. She just wanted to lose those dreaded last 15 pounds. Today, she's down to her target at 121.
I'm just really, really happy with that number. So for a reward, Joey decided they should celebrate with something bold, a new bathing suit. If you appreciate where you are right now, then the things that you want are going to come to you. The manager of Canyon Beachwear says shopping for a bathing suit can be emotionally wrenching, but not for Carla and Laura. Fantastic. Ooh, I like that. She's doing the moves that's all. Let's see what you got. Then you bring it up.